This is a $20 million federal lawsuit. This district leader says his free speech rights have been violated, and he says the proof is on tape. I don't know um, what was going to happen. I was scared. Mount Vernon District Leader Samuel Rivers says he was threatened by John Boykin, an aide to Mayor Clinton Young, and he says he has the tape to prove it. You're at a different level right now when you're with people, and they are saying that you are the cause of a lot of Rivers says Boykin was angry about Rivers' blog that was critical of the administration. You're not threatening the government. You never threatened the government with lawyers because we are the government. And I don't care who you guys are. You're, you're regular people just like me. Listen, I'm talking to you as a friend. What you're doing now is you're making a lot of enemies. The tape runs over an hour. Rivers says Boykin repeatedly threatened him. So they're going to kill me? That's what you're saying? What I'm saying is that you expect there to be some retaliatory this. I'm not saying that you're going to die. I'm not saying that something bad is going to happen. According to Boykin, there were seven individuals who were planning uh, Sam's death. Rivers believes he's also angered Westchester DA Janet DeFiore for holding a gathering for a potential opponent. I was told my name is in Janet DeFiore's mouth now uh, since I did um, host that meeting and announce my support for Tony Castro. Now, the Westchester DA is not named in the suit, and they have no comment in that office. As for the City Hall of Mount Vernon, they, too, have no comment.